for Christmas is to never hear that song again. I absolutely hate that song, but that's not what we're listening to today. Okay, so here's the thing. I wasn't gonna do this album. I just wasn't going to. It got not a ton of views on YouTube, and I have to say that does take an effect on what I do watch because I want enough people to be looking at the videos that I put out. However, a couple of things swayed me. One, my patrons. My patrons, I love you guys. You are the lifeblood of my business. You're the reason why I can do what I do for a living. You're the reason why this video is here, actually, because you guys kept commenting, when are we gonna hear the Christmas EP, the fruitcake from Sabrina Carpenter? So, so that was partially what swayed me. The other part that swayed me is that the songs that I've listened to so far from Sabrina Carpenter, I fucking love, like love. I have been playing her nonsense and feather on loop like it is ugh. you just hear it and you're like like sexy and moving. So tomorrow is actually Christmas Eve. So this is how close I am to this. We weren't supposed to really work that much today, but my husband had some stuff to do. And I was like, you know what, babe? I really want to do this album. And so be sure to thank Danny for being flexible. Also be sure to thank my editor for also being flexible. Cause I was like, hey, I know you were gonna take a vacation already, but if I were to get you Sabrina Carpenter's album, there's only six songs on it. Could you edit it? And he said yes. And then sent me an emoji with a person hitting their head up against a wall. Anyways, I'm excited. Okay, let's do this. It's the holiday remix. <laughs> Wasn't this already her it's nonsense song? Yeah. What? change of contact. It has a huge <laughs> Okay, I love it, I'm in. Sabrina, I'm in. That's fucking awesome. And we've got like retro video game. Oh my God. Has a huge North Pole. I think it would be has a huge South Pole if we're gonna be accurate on this. Just say it. Let me come on you up. Even out in the snow. Baby, my tongue goes numb. Sounds like ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I don't want to no yeah. Underneath this old tree. It's a little carol I wrote. It's about you and me. You got me thinking Christmas. Okay, what the fuck? This is a fucking amazing song right here. This is like my Christmas song already. Oh my God, thank you guys. I have a feeling I'm gonna love this album. You'll be Santa Claus and I'll be missing. <laughs> I'll take you for a ride, I'll be a vixen. I don't even know I'm talking Christmas. I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. I'm talking Christmas. <laughs> Vocal wise, she sounds amazing. She sounds exactly the same as she did on Nonsense. I swear she is so consistent with her sound. Like, she's out just chilling. I'm decking all the halls. I'm talking mm. spike and eggnog. Fuck I'm yeah. kicking opposite of small. I'm talking <laughs> big snowballs. You got to oh, do for me. I'm out here trimming the tree. I could look how I wrote. It's about you and me. This whole fucking thing is amazing. The whole thing is amazing. Please tell me she wrote this. Please tell me she actually wrote this. This is fucking great. I like want to go to my next family Christmas and slip this song in and see if anyone notices. Oh, and then it's cute at the same time. Like this is adorable. And then it's like in your big dick. <laughs> I need that Charles Dickens. Just that reggae feel. This morning thought I'd write a Christmas. How quickly can you build a snowman? Think fast. <laughs> what was that? How quickly can you build a snowman? Think fast. I have a feeling that has a sexual reason behind it, but I don't know what it is. Hmm, I don't know. You'll have to tell me. Oh my God, I love it. I absolutely fucking love it. It's the first one and I just love it. I would loop that shit. I would memorize that shit. You know what? I'm thinking about doing more covers on my channel of me singing and I think next Christmas, or maybe if I can get it out, I'm not gonna be able to get it out in time. Don't worry, editor. I know my editor right now is like, no, 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 no. Don't put more on my plate. <laughs> Okay, I probably won't get it out by this Christmas, but next Christmas, I don't give a fuck. It's been a year, whatever. Maybe I'll put it out late. I don't know, but that's a great fucking song. That's my Christmas song. Oh my God, start it out with a bang. Santa doesn't know you like I do. Oh, we're we going for the heart now. Through the good and bad, know how to make you laugh. Kiss all your tears away, babe. Oh, her, 
her vibrato is so fast through here. Can do that, that, that. It's very, very fast, which I haven't heard that fast of vibrato when I hear her live. Uh, you just come over? Oh, oh, oh. Make it come true. I feel like we're going back to like a late 90s feel with this, like slow jams, you know? God, oh my God, that reminds me, there was a radio station I used to listen to, Slow Jams 97. I think we all, at least those of you in my age, had a radio station called Slow Jams with a number on it. Remember radio stations all had numbers on it? Like Hottest Hits 99 or something like that, right? Right? Oh my God, but this feels like it. This feels like, if I were listening to this on the radio, I'd have Boys to Men playing next. You know, I'll make love to you like you want me to. Right? It's got that same kind of era feel to it. And the, and the, the little ad libs in the back. It's so gentle and descending that you don't even really notice it, but it, it collects and adds in. Here. She closes it though. It's a fall, but she closes and she's kind of nasal in with her tone. I doesn't know you like I do, I do. It's a little close there. It gives it this kickback feel. To give you everything you want. Oh my God. Leave me all alone. Oh, and she's, what the fuck? She's even talking at the end. This is 90s jams. This is late. 90s Christmas jams, love hits. Oh my God, the whole thing. And then now she's talking, which is what, baby, I've been missing you so much. Like that kind of shit. That was always at the end of songs. We were always talking in our songs back then. And then, ugh, God, the Christmas jingles also remind me of like Britney Spears feel, but we're talking again, late 90s, like 98, 99 era. My high school, yes, I just dated myself. It's that era of music. And I am all for it because I fucking loved slow jams. Doesn't know you like I do. There was a little bit of extra auto tune on that. I don't think it was needed, but I think it is given for effects for this kind of era as well on the, the Santa that comes up. Listen to the slight fluctuation. There's a little bit on there extra than needed. All right, is it New Year's yet? Oh, oh shit. Oh shit, bitches. Is it New Year's? Is this gonna be my New Year's song? This is baby making music. We're heading up into like the funky baby making music where you're like, I'm out, I'm drinking champagne, I'm getting buzzed, and then you're gonna do the slow jam when you get home with the man and make a baby. In the kitchen, dated, There's that rhythm that I love in her lyrics. <gasps> I've talked about this over and over and over again. Her rhythm of her lyrics. I swear this happened in, I just recently reacted to, which will be coming out soon, FYI. Thumbs and Nonsense, the music videos. And it's where she comes in. We have really good production of music. And then she comes in rhythmically. There goes my mouth. Rhythmically, thank you. Uh, with her lyrics. They come in rhythmically. So it, it, it's, it, duh, duh. Da, 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 da. It, it, it almost is like an instrument. She sings her lyric like they're an instrument, which is where I was I was talking about in thumbs because people were making fun of the the 
chorus portion of it in like a whole bunch of chats when I looked it up, but I don't think they, they understood. For me, it was a great connection to jazz scatting and what you do in jazz and when you're scatting and you're using different vowels and different sounds to sound more like an instrument and create that rhythm. And I feel like this is what she's doing again here. Isn't that true? Oh, see that rhythm there again. Yeah, instead of champ, pain, buzz down to my toes, it was share, pay, buzz down to my toes. There's a different rhythm. It's not a normal rhythm. I'm telling you guys, this is a thing about her. And I don't, I don't know if everyone notices it truthfully. I think they just like the song, but they don't know exactly why. And I'm telling you, I think it's from the rhythm of the lyrics on top of great production, on top of her flawless voice as she's just casually chilling and singing like you're hanging out with her. But on top of all of that, I'm telling you, the rhythm. It's all around me, damn it hurts. I'm gonna push them in the fireplace and watch them burn. Oh, fuck, oh, yay! I'm a gift, look how God made me. Oh, oh, oh. What's on my list? Fruitcake just makes me sick. Small talk in the kitchen. Dated, oh. no traditions. Oh. Sucks, competition. And that is so true, the who sucks competition. I have certain family members that I swear I cannot talk to them unless they're ragging on someone else. If I, and if I like step in and I'm like, hey, you know, let's not, let's not talk about that person like that. No, not gonna happen. So it's like, it, it, who sucks competition is so true. It's so true, I don't understand. I guess I understand why people do that because it makes them feel like their life is better by focusing on negatives of others. But what a terrible way to make yourself feel better. Better. Like, let's raise each other up. I swear, in my Patreon group, I absolutely do not allow anyone to rag on anyone. It is, there is zero tolerance. I make sure my shit is safe. I am mama bear, and we have a safe place where we can all have our own opinions. We want opinions, but to rag on each other, or who sucks competition, mm -mm, I don't like it. Production, baby, baby, as it comes right in, we hear the echo on each side and then it sinks up. So we have like a shakiness of the sound going left to right. And then we have it sinking into coming together right as the chorus comes in. Silver and, and, silver and gold. She adds even an extra note to and. It's not silver and gold, it's silver and, silver and gold. There's two notes there to keep that amazing rhythm. God, I fucking love it. I feel like, I feel like when I went into this reaction, I wasn't fully awake yet. I wasn't ready for this album. I feel like if I started this album all over again, I would love it even more. Like, I think you have to hear it a few times and I'm like out of breath. Ugh. But I feel like I'm just now like, oh, that's what this album is like. Like, I should have been spiking my fucking eggnog for this album. You guys, when you're putting up requests, you need to let me know. Is it a drinking like album? Is it a sipping wine under the stars album? Is it a get a box of tissues Taylor Swift album? Like what the fuck? I need to know. This was a spike my eggnog kind of album. This was not a good morning, have your coffee album. I feel like I'm just now getting into the vibe of what this album is. You gotta warn me on this shit, you guys. I'm disappointed in you. No. <laughs> Danny already gave me my presents. He never waits. Okay, this is like a traditional Christmas sound. Ooh, yeah, yeah. 90s, total 90s, I'm telling you. If you were a wise man, maybe you would drop. What the fuck, Sabrina? You gotta come in with some silly shit like that. Drop every other ho, ho, ho. That's right. If you are loving Sabrina Carpenter, like I'm loving Sabrina Carpenter, then you need to come on over to my Patreon because on Patreon, we're gonna do the album reaction for emails I can't send. Emails I won't send one of those. We also have several different songs, extra bonus stuff. It's just, we're, we're, we're tailored out, we're Sabrina'd out, like come on over. I will be sure to put that link to my group 
down below. Oh my god, I love these fucking lyrics again. It's got that Christmas feel, but it's fucked up. And you know how I love songs like this, just like Cuff It has been on loop over and over and over again because I don't expect the lines that come out and I feel like it's like real, it's real. And then she goes back into like, just such sweet things of drink me like a warm glass of milk. Like, oh, I fucking love the whole thing. Again, 90s feel as well. And her voice just chilling. I don't think I need a big note. I don't need a belty note. I always need a fucking belty note. And I don't feel like I need it. I'm chilling. This is good. Should have fucking spiked my eggnog, you guys. Should have spiked. Just to keep my stocking Keep my, every once in a while she goes into like a thin sound and then back into a lower sound, which is unusual because she's freaking tiny, which means her vocal cords are gonna be really small. So her high notes would normally be very high. Think like Ariana Grande, also very tiny. So her vocal cords are gonna be thinner and longer. Therefore her high notes are gonna be easier. Her low notes are gonna be harder. So I bet she can bounce, but it's just not needed. He's a little bit older. Like super old. Like super old. What? In a city that's colder, <laughs> but damn it, he's so hot. Who? Is she actually talking about someone? Ooh, are we gonna get like, like this is, it reminds me of like a Taylor Swift song, right? Cause I'm like, who is this one about? Like who? Who's older? Dad bod. And he's from somewhere that's colder. I do like me a dad bod. I do like a, a man, a man. Give me the man. But he knows when I'm sleeping. And he knows when I'm not. Wait, she's like Santa? Santa in a while. He's probably just busy at his workshop. Oh my god, wait, what the fuck? She's talking about Santa. Santa has a dad bod. Oh my god. Fuck me, that's great. <laughs> Hasn't like really been around in a while. I guess he's really busy. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. I I feel like there's a little bit of like that Marilyn Monroe feel to her voice. Do you guys get that? Where it's just effortless, you know? And she's just kind of, this is who I am. All gentle and sweet. You don't fuck with me. Yeah. Like, I feel like that's, that's the style of voice that she goes for. It's got that little Marilyn Monroe touch. I don't know how else to describe it. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> Oh my God, it's a fucking saxophone solo. <laughs> no, no you didn't, Sabrina. You literally brought in a saxophone solo. We are officially in the 90s. I don't give a fuck what you think. This is not 2023, this is not 2024. This is 1998, 1997. <laughs> Oh, I love that rhythm there. Just to keep my stock in Oh, oh, get it. Acapella. Oh, I know somebody who will. Santa. I saw you laughing in oh. one of his pictures, but you'll be the one with this ring on your finger. Oh, shit. Okay, I didn't expect a sad song at all. I didn't do my Cindy Lou hair for a sad song. Maybe he met you somewhere in the desert. Well, he was so searching and he found someone better. Oh wait, I think I saw something about this, right? Someone that she was dating that, that um, I don't know, was it, uh, what's her name? Cab Cabela, something Cabela. I've done songs of hers from Fifth Harmony, right? Isn't it the guy that she was dating is met, like, met up with her in the, at Coachella or some shit like that? I don't know, maybe I'm totally off. Maybe this is a totally different person. Cause you make him happy like I couldn't do Cindy Lou Who. Oh my God, you're putting this in a Christmas album? It's breaking my heart is the season I get. Oh my god, I didn't expect this. Ah, fuck man, I feel like she's got the shit into the stick so many times with guys that she's dated. I mean, wasn't, this is Sabrina Carpenter. She's the one that was with Joshua Bassett who was with Olivia Rodrigo, right? And then Olivia Rodrigo, her whole album was like all about what was going on and people fucking went 
after Sabrina Carpenter, right? Am I right? Is this the right person? I want to say. And then like they just, God, man, fans can be fucking toxic, which is so dumb because you don't, you get like a tiny piece of the story in a song. You don't get the whole story and you can never really get the whole story until you see it. You hear the story from everyone's perspective. So you'd have to have Olivia's perspective. You'd have to have Joshua's perspective and Sabrina's perspective because it's interesting when you look at the whole thing and you just, or if you just look at Olivia, you think of her songs like Joshua Bassett is a fucking asshole. He left her for this dumb bimbo, blah, 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 right? But then if you swap and you look at Sabrina's side, maybe Sabrina's side is she met Joshua they fell in love and they hit it off. And maybe at the time Joshua was dating Olivia. And so in order to be not cheat and to be proper and maybe his time with Olivia, he felt like he wasn't with her anymore and didn't need her or that was what was presented to Sabrina. He then breaks up with Olivia and now he is with Sabrina so they can be together because they fell in love with each other and she just thinks he's amazing. And that's her perspective, which makes her look like a good person, right? And then you have Joshua Bassett's version. So it's like, it's depending on the perspective of all of it, because God knows I've been on all those different sides. I've been on the side that got their heart broken. I've been on the side that left someone because it just wasn't working anymore and it hadn't been working for a long time and you met someone else. I've been on the side of where you were hooking up with someone and you started to really like them and they had left the person that they were with to date you. I've been on all sides so I can see all perspectives and I feel like Sabrina really got the shit end of the stick. I really feel like Olivia Rodrigo fans got a tiny piece of a perspective and went after her. And I hope this isn't happening again. I hope that this relationship that she's singing about now is better. With your hair so long, lips so red. So red. Like there's a, there's a hint of, of jealousy there. The way that she had that so red. There's a hint of like, mine aren't that red. The snow's gonna fall and the tree's gonna glisten. Oh, do you hear that wavering vibrato here? Oh, oh my God. What the fuck? She's like, Br <gasps> Sabrina, you're bringing it all down. The boy who I love is now in love with you. Cindy What a way to wrap Told that in. All my friends, they said it can't be true. Cindy Lou Who. Oh, honey. <sighs> Fuck. That's a whole, that was, that, that was not what I expect at all. <laughs> I expected something weird and quirky and cute, like Cindy Lou Who from the, the, the Grinch, right? Isn't that what it's from? I saw little bits of the movie a long time ago, but I guess my Cindy Lou Who hair wasn't quite what was needed. Okay, White Christmas. I... Oh, damn it. She's bringing it back down again. <laughs> Dreaming of a white Christmas. Okay, there is so much excess air here. That's why she's having to breathe so much. She is on that mic like a motherfucker, like so close. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. We're giving fucking ASMR now. That's what this shit is. And oh. that's what we hear to hear sleigh bells in you have a little lift and then you have like a trill at the end that's usually what people do when they cover a christmas album or a christmas song and they're like pop musicians that's pretty standard that line that we just heard there to hear sleigh bells in the snow that was pretty standard but the rest of it hasn't been and that is so fucking refreshing as I'm so tired of pop artists and different artists coming in and doing covers of the same damn songs over and over and over again. And all they do is they lift one note and they add a trill at the end and you're like, blah, you know? Oh shit. Oh, 
I love oh, it! Christmas! Christmas! Yeah! With every Christmas card, oh, I love the hiccup on the card. Cotton, card, card. Oh. are more staying closed but it, it so it's not Christmas oh, shit but it's not open Mas, it's Mas. it's closed and pulled back this suits her sound perfectly because she has like I said that Marilyn Monroe mm, you know happy birthday mr. president like that that soft effortless sexy and then when she hits her highs oh instead of oh it's not forward placed yet it's it's uh, it's so smooth at the same time again wavering vibrato Oh, I didn't expect that. <laughs> God, this feels very acapella. Is that clapping? Okay, okay. Out of a score, 10 out of 10. I give it a fucking 10. That was amazing. That was so good. That is, hands down, my absolute favorite fucking Christmas album I've ever heard. I feel like we had all the layers of what we need. We had the the heartfelt Christmas, yet we had a dose of reality of like dealing with your family or not having someone there for Christmas and the longing behind it at the same time. But then we also had like the, fuck it, is it New Year's yet kind of shit, you know, spike the eggnog and we had the, the funny quips about big snowballs, you know, right? Like this had everything. This made me happy. This made me feel like Christmas. This didn't sound like every other fucking Christmas pop album cover, which is also probably why I avoided reacting to this for so long. I fucking love it. Thank you guys so much for requesting this. And um, I will see you all in the next Sabrina Carpenter album. La la la.